someone who's a power user of uh, Mac OS, uh, something that I like to do is to uh, really clean up my desktop. So after a long period of time, I often find that I have lots of screenshots on my desktop or I have um, lots of files that I'm working on and I just really want to clear that clutter up. So today what I'm going to do is just walk you through how you can turn off the desktop icons and um, uh, free up your desktop space. So it's it, a really nice clean space to work from uh, but also um, you'll have access to all the files that are still on the desktop when you do this and it's um, it just requires a, a little bit of code so we'll uh, jump into the Mac OS terminal uh, but just before I do that you can see here uh, just as an example I've got quite a lot of screenshots here that are set up and so what we're going to do today is just try and hide those and um, so the first thing we do is we, we open up the search. So you can do that uh, top right hand corner. There's a search box here and then you click on that. And then in here we type uh, terminal. So terminal is an advanced uh, tool for Mac OS. Uh, so uh, if, if you're not familiar with terminal, then uh, maybe you might want to try and find another tool, but it's pretty straightforward what we're doing today. You just need to be confident with uh, coding and programming to do this next step. So here we will go ahead and open up terminal now. And as soon as I open this, it, the screen's a little bit small, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see exactly what's going on. Now um, I'll put in the comments just these two uh, lines of code, but what we're going to do first is in this terminal, we're going to type one line of code. And what that will do is program Mac OS that when the Finder application starts up, uh, it will not create the desktop. And um, what it, this code will do is, we'll just go and paste it here now. So what it does is it changes the defaults for the Finder application. And what it instructs it to do is when it creates a desktop, to set that to false. And um, then after we do that, we'll kill Finder and restart it. So all I have to do is paste this in and press enter. And you'll see on the right hand side, as soon as I do this, the icons will disappear. It's that easy. So um, now what we'll do is we go into Finder, open that up. And if I click on my desktop here, I still have access to all of my files that I've created here. Uh, they're still accessible, but um, it just means that my desktop is, you know, a little bit more clean and it, it's it's much nicer to work from. And uh, generally, most of the files on the desktop are temporary files. So I think a lot of people will find this quite useful. So to reverse that, all we need to do is paste the exact same thing. But instead of false, we write true. So it's the same line of code. We'll paste that in press enter and then miraculously all of the icons are there again so really easy to do we'll just do that once more copy the code make sure it says false when creating the desktop press enter and those icons are now gone and we have the desktop icons here easily accessible when you want to move around between your applications and do what you need to do. So that's all for today. Uh, if you like the video, please press like and subscribe and um, leave any comments down below.